How's it going, Newsbeat? Uh, Gator here. I just wanted to show you how I set up my Fidelity trading account, how I do Active Trader Pro for speed. I talked to Fidelity. I spent a lot of time on the phone with them trying to figure out the quickest way to do it, and this is kind of what, after talking with them, um, I came up with. So, short of opening just two trading tickets, one set to buy and one set to sell, but for trading news or anything early in the morning, I like this setup the best. So this chart here, I actually do not use for charting, just as kind of a quick reference for me. Sometimes I'll set it to the cues or something separate from what I'm trading, just to kind of give me a quick uh, marker of, uh, you know, a chart that I'm looking at. But I use TC2000 instead for for my charts. Over here, this is your options chain. If you go up to options, you'll see option chain, and you can open it up. You type in your whatever you're looking to trade and all these different options will come up. You pick the one you want or you unselect the ones that you don't want and this is what you'll come up with right here. This is what it'll look like right now. You cannot see only out of the money or only in the money. It only does around the money. Turn trade and chain off. This needs to be turned off and then when you click on an option it will open it up right here. So this is your direct trade options. You can see that when you right click on it you can click settings and go over to option shortcuts. On option shortcuts, I've already got mine set up. You could change this just by typing it in, but I've got buy 10, buy 20, buy 30, and then sell 10, sell 20, and sell 30. For the sake of my setup, it's important that I did it this way because that puts them over top of each other. It'll go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, same here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I set it up so I can go easy, find, click, click. This is my level two. This is the direct trade uh, stocks. So this is your level two here, and you can get that right here by going uh, direct trade and extended hours. You click on that, it would bring that up, type in whatever you wanted, and you can see your level two. I did the same thing here. Uh, with my stock prices so if I ever want to jump in a stock instead of auction options if you click on your direct trade uh, settings go over to stock shortcuts instead of option shortcuts you can do the same thing by whatever you want put in those numbers put in your terms tier click apply and you can set those shortcuts up over here I have orders this shows me the uh, fill price uh, for the buy and the ask along with the amount of contracts that I took so I'll do a trade really quick just to show you how quick this can be. It's not as quick as Mark's setup, but for early morning trades, uh, Fidelity has not had lag for me, so it's really nice, and I use this for the first hour, and then I switch over to uh, Charles Schwab. And at the bottom of the page, I also set up things I'm watching on the day, so I can quickly uh, click them in case, instead of typing if I want to, just to hop in something. So goes like that. So let's say I'm looking at Amazon and for whatever reason something happens in Apple. I can go to Apple. I can click on this. Buy. I'm just going to do that. This is what the, it looks like. New trade. Sell 10. Place. So you can see the placement here. And so, I mean, just because I clicked and sold, you know, you can see the the price. You can see it done. Now I don't have to close this out if I'm still trying to trade it. Well, let's say I was front running and something happened. I could click new trade and I could actually, you know, open up a new ticket. Whenever I want to go to a different stock, I would just exit this out and then jump over to Tesla or something else. So that's how my system is set up. That's how it's set up for speed so I can trade. It works really well for me. Hopefully it works well for y'all. If you have any tickets or, sorry, any questions, just send me uh, an email or write me in chat, and I'd be glad to, to help you out or answer them. Talk to y'all soon, and have a great evening.